Hey, guess what? I'm still the king of terrible, terrible ideas. Um, once again, it's late. Although this time, this time I'm recording something when it's late. Even though I just took a sleep medication, just took a sleep a little bit ago. Which means that probably partway through this episode, I'm going to start sounding either totally insane or totally drunk. Could be either. Could be both. I don't know. We'll see. I, I took it because I completely forgot that I've been so idiotically busy with work that I haven't had any time to record any Isaac for Monday. It is Sunday night. I made, I've made my mistakes. So... <coughs> <coughs> oh god. I had a hard day. I had a really hard day. So last week, totally messed up the schedule of, you know, regular old random run Monday, challenge run Wednesday. And then the co-op Isaac is... Oh my. That is a holy mantle. Co-op Isaac is... Uh, I'm not going to say it's dead, but it's pretty much impossible right now because Scott's car has some radiator issues, some coolant problems or something like that. I don't remember. I don't remember specifics, but... What that means is no co-op Isaac, because because you know Isaac can only be played cooperatively. Hold on a second. Isaac can only be played cooperatively locally, which means if Scott can't get here because we live on the opposite sides of town, or rather two towns, uh, we live in an area where two towns are functionally adjacent to each other. This is Curse of the Maze. I didn't even notice. Hmm. This is still Curse of the Maze, apparently. This is still Curse of the Maze, apparently. Thank you. I really didn't want to have to keep repeating that. I'm not going to shoot these fires because they can go fuck themselves. But yeah, Co-op Isaac is out, which means that I'm probably going to replace it with Awesome Knots. I'm going to try and try and make the Awesome Knots stuff uh, a weekly thing. Lately, I've had a lot of school-related crap to go through, which is, which is part of the reason that I had been gone for a month or so, and it's part of the reason that this is, the videos have been really inconsistent lately. Also, of note, I didn't mention this in uh, the Risk of Rain episode I put up yesterday, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to discontinue Risk of Rain or not. Because, honestly, I'm getting kind of bored playing it. Like, the episode yesterday was great, don't get me wrong, but it was great just because of, like, a gigantic, huge... Wow, I can't believe I got hit by that. Thank you, Holy Mantle. The gigantic, huge, crazy luck streak, which, you know, I, I'm never going to shy away from those if I have them, because... Pretty rare. Pretty rare for me. Pinky eyes. Excellent trinket, in my opinion. Not, like, one of the best, but pretty useful, I think. But, yeah, I'm not really sure if I should keep Risk of Rain around or not. I mean, I just... I just don't get any sort of fire when I play it anymore. Not like this game. This game actually gets, gets me some of that kind of stuff. Some kind of emotional reaction. If I sound really congested, it's because I'm really congested. Because I came home from work and basically immediately went and sat in a very dusty room and pretty much napped for hours. I didn't actually fall asleep, but as far as the world is concerned, I fell asleep. Basically what I did is I just came home and uh, watched the Pacific, watched the Northwest Majors uh, Project M stream. I was hoping to catch my buddy Aggie on there because, you know, he went to that tournament. He ended up getting 13th. It's pretty nice. He beat the top seeded player in Washington. Hell yes, go Aggie. Shoutouts to, in my opinion, one of the best Wario players in existence right now. That's my opinion, though, keep in mind. You know, I really fucking hate gurglings. I really, I really, really hate gurglings. Gurglings are almost as unfair as the haunt. I am so distracted and tired right now. I'm sorry, I'm probably just going to end up fucking over like four runs in a row on the first floor and then rage quit after 15 minutes. Oh my god, fucking gurglings. Oh well, to be fair, they kept boxing me in because they're not nice. Gurglings should not be a basement boss, they should be a cellar only boss. I would much rather fight the Widow in the basement. Or Fistula, I'd rather fight Fistula in the basement and Fistula is a pain. Whatever. So I had Holy Mantle and I somehow managed to die on the first floor. Mm. This really, really speaks to my. I get fucking Spider Butt instead. It really speaks to my current skill level right now, my ability to play this game. It is negligible. Probably. 
probably definitely negligible. I am not at all feeling guilty about using this here because I hate these things. Spider enemies can just go screw themselves. All of them. All at once. Because I hate them. They suck. I cannot believe that I died on the first floor boss as a king. That should never happen. It's the gurglings. Gurglings are so weak, but the knockback. When you hit them, there's like some weird ass suspension system inside their bodies that just flings them in the most bizarre directions. You have to wonder if it's even possible to avoid taking damage by the gurglings. It is. It is possible. But it's not. It should not be as difficult as it is to fight the gurglings. It just, it really shouldn't. They should, they should be, maybe they could just like be exclusively second floor boss or something. I'd be, I'd be okay with that. Even if it's still a basement, that'd be fine. This is going to take a while because these things are champions, so they have all the health in the world. I'm not really, I'm really not sure which pisses me off more, the haunt or gurglings. I, re I really don't know. God damn, those things are vibrating. I mean, I know, I, I, I know I'm trying to have some fun here, but please, please, uh, warn me before you, before you go in like that. That was a joke. My, my brain made some kind of, that is a crap ton of bombs. Some kind of ridiculous joke. And it didn't really work as well as I'm sure my brain was hoping. Oh, the congestion is real. Can you hear the sniffling? Can you hear... A stuffed up voice. It's even worse than normal. Oh, what the... Why the fuck would I think that thing would go to the right when I shoot it like that? Why? So much of the damage I take in this series, in this game, is to enemies that have the most bizarre knockback. I hate them all. They're all stupid. Gurglings are stupid. The stupid poops are stupid. What else does that? What are those things called? The They're not leapers or hoppers, they're the They're the they're the spider-like enemies that can substitute in for hoppers on occasion. It's random. They they make the weird crazy jumps. Those things don't really have a knockback issue, but they have basically characters that have movement movement patterns that are 110% unpredictable are garbage. All of them. I hate them all. So one giant Larry Jr. with spider butt is like the easiest thing. In fact, Larry Jr. in general with spider butt is really easy. I'm actually surprised it didn't just outright kill it, but I don't know. And a speed up is really not what I'm looking for is Kane. With seven bombs, I can totally justify looking for a secret room. Here, maybe? Hey, look at that. Would you look at this, guys? beat the first fucking floor this time, I might as well go back for this health. Try not to die. I don't know. You hear that? I'm sure you can hear it by now. It's pretty awful. I'm gonna down some water, see if that helps. I have this gigantic cup that my parents got at the place I work at well before I started working there. When I say gigantic, I mean this thing probably holds like 50 ounces or something. And I filled the whole thing with water when I came into my room after I got home from work, and I still haven't gone through all of it. Because my mom was just like, yo, you gotta, gotta drink a bunch of water, maybe that'll help you stop being so freaking pissed. I could tell, I could tell stories about what happened at work today. I could, I guess, but all that's gonna do is distract me and cause me to fail. That thing that I just killed, I hate those. I hate them so much. So I am Kane, which means I have the luck foot. Um, I guess that's only a luck up now. It used to be, it used to make all of your pills either good or neutral, but I guess, and it used to be a luck up, but I guess now it's just a luck upgrade, because that was a luck down pill, which is pretty ironic, I gotta say. Having the luck foot and getting a luck down pill is just silly. It's just, it's just silly. All right, you. Yeah, I see you there, spider, in my periphery. Can't hide from me, asshole. That's where, oh, Jesus Christ. What is your... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What do you think you're doing? Slow down, bro. Chill, please. Thank you. I would appreciate you not zip-zapping all over my shit like that. I didn't ask for this. 
Yuck. Ugh, it's so bad. It's so bad. And of course, it's 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 spring. It's like mid-spring or whatever, so allergens up the wazoo and back. Oh my god. Fuck you, spider. Fuck no. What's in here? No. I'm not doing it. I may be tired, but I'm awake enough to recognize when I see Bob's brain and not just take it out of habit willy-nilly. Hold on. Okay, so this... Is this hard mode? Is this hard difficulty? I don't remember if I actually activated hard difficulty or not. Or if it was deactivated, I don't recall. One bomb for three cents is not useful, but secret rooms are, so... Nope. Not dealing with those. It's an easy room, and I don't care, because fucking spiders are garbage. Sure, another soul heart to back up my deal with the devil opportunity. I would love to get something. Yeah, I really wish I had friggin' spider butt now. I'll be honest, if, if I go to that shop and I see the 9 volt, I'm absolutely taking it. 9 volt with spider butt. With sp I mean, spider butt is one of those items that's just like, eh, there's so many better use items, why would you ever want this? But then you remember that it has a two room charge. It used to have more, if I remember correctly, it was like a four room charge or something. But a two room charge that does this much damage to all enemies in the room and slows them? for quite a while, like, that's pretty good. And if you can get that combined with- That fucking thing again did the weird-ass knockback thing. God damn it. What was I saying? Spider butt? Yeah, spider butt. If you can get that combined with a 9 volt, that's that's a one-room charge on this item, and that's- Like, I don't know if that's- at, I actually think the spider butt at a one-room charge is as good as Guppy's head, if not better. Oh. Oh, really? You want me to fight this thing? You want me to fight this sack of shit, I see. I'm actually kind of wishing I had Bob's brain now, because... Well, I thought that would work. I still have no idea how people take these things out with a single bomb. I've seen it done a few times, I just don't know how to do it. I'm kind of wishing I had grabbed Bob's brain, because I could kill those things so easily. Alright. Get slowed. Stay in the corner. Stay in the corner. Or not. Oh, that did something. Oh god. I'm legitimately surprised that didn't hit me. Yeah, honestly, I really don't want to deal with the haunt, so I am content to toss a bomb in there. How have I not gotten hit yet? How have I not gotten hit at the- how did I- how did I beat the haunt and not take any damage? What is this? Also, lunch. Spirit of the Night. Uh, this is stupid because I'm going to die, but I'll take it. So now I have flight and spectral tears. It's pretty neat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. I may have to... I got a bag of cough drops on my desk. I'm just gonna pop one of these and see if it helps me breathe. Because this is, this is stupid. This entire day was stupid, but this is not any better. I'm gonna go check out the shop. That's why I came back. Uh, yeah. A steam sale in the second shop is pretty good, I think. Anything else? I could look for a second secret room. Uh, I got a hunch that it's right here. Nice. <laughs> I can't do anything with this. I'm out of money. Blow it up, though. So I get two cents, functionally. Two cents and negative one bombs. Good plan. Yeah, we're good. Pretty sure there's exactly no hope of, a bo of you know, getting to the boss rush at this point. Curse of the... Curse of the Unknown is going to get me killed, I guarantee it. There's absolutely no hope of getting to a boss rush, so I'm not even going to consider that at this point. This run is going slowly enough, and I am playing poorly enough. Ah, fine. I'll take Guppy's head. Guppy's head is better than Spider Butt, as Spider Butt stands by itself, but with the, with, with the, uh, the 9 volt, I'd argue the Spider Butt is better. It's, it's a toss-up, really. They both have their values. Like, if you have absolutely insane damage, you've picked up Polyphemus or something, then by all means, you should take Guppy's head just over everything else, pretty much, because that is just an insanely good DPS output right there. Imagine if you could get that with a 9 volt too. Any use item with a 9 volt is better. I don't know what I'm yapping about. 
Wait, I have spectral tears. What am I doing? Hey, you. Go up. Go up. Go up some more. Thank you. You you went up too much. You went up too much. I can't believe that you would be so uncooperative. Thank you. Oh god, these things. These things aren't difficult. They're just really annoying to kill. They take forever and they're just like, yeah, I'm just never gonna... Fuck. They're just like, yeah, I'm just never gonna pop up. Uh, fuck! I disagree with that, but I'm pretty sure what happened there is I blinked. My eyes decided to stay shut for a little bit longer than I thought they would. It's, it's kind of a common occurrence here because I am starting to fall under the effects of that sleep aid. So every time I shut my eyes, they just, they want to remain closed so badly. I'm very glad to have a uh, flight here because I can just go these things into getting close and then shooting them. Hee hee hee. Hee 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 hee. It's the magic of flight though. Of course, it would be pretty much completely useless without Spectral Tears, so Spirit of the Night, honestly, is an incredibly good item. 48 hour energy. Flies. Flies. Curse of the Unknown means that I've lost my one soul heart. Do I want to go fight the boss? I haven't even been to the item room yet. Eh, uh, sure. Gertie. Oh, this is the Gertie that only summons things, right? So I think this is going to be just fine. I have, I have enough of a damage output that I can take out the things it summons pretty easily. Oh, go away. I have a bomb. Unfortunately, though, this Gertie actually has a ton of health. But that's okay. That's okay. This is, this is like, not gonna be a problem at all. I, ha I really do have enough damage to make sure these enemies don't accumulate. It's the only issue I can see here being an issue are the bearded flies that it's spawning that can shoot at me. Because I can't necessarily see them, I can just see when they're spawning. Gertie seems pretty fond of them at the moment, that's peculiar. But yeah, they're th those are the only things that pose any real threat right now. So this is, this is really just a, war a battle of attrition. And also, I need to make sure that I'm actually paying attention to the bearded flies when they spawn in, because those... Because if I get hit by one of those wayward shots, I'm going to be so mad at myself. I'm going to go to bed feeling saltier than I ever have before. That's not actually true, but I'm going to be feeling really salty. Really salty, really angry. Just kind of like, why this? Why did this have to happen? There's a bearded fly there. I see you. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there were two of them, and then there was three, and then there was zero, and then I win. Cool. Blue cap for some HP, tears up, shot speed down. Aight. Fucking... Please. I want both of these. I want you first, so I have the black hearts, and then I want you because you're a dark bomb and you're a game winner. You're a run winner. Alright. This is interesting. I mean, last run... First first item room, first floor mantle is absolutely incredible and I should have won that, but Gurgling has decided to do the Gurgling thing and I died. It's kind of pathetic, really. Dark Bum, on the other hand, coupled with the Ceremonial Robes, this is, this is a game-winning combination right here. Ceremonial Robes because it's damage up and HP up, which gives me the buffer from buying that as a deal with the devil, gives me a health buffer, and then Dark Bum for the health regeneration. I do believe this means that I am at, health-wise, one soul heart, or maybe two soul hearts, and three black hearts. I'm not certain what... That is mom's eye. I don't really... Th is that worth a challenge room? I also just realized I've been forgetting to use Guppy's head. I'm sorry. Is that worth a challenge room? Eh, yeah, sure. Could get some cool synergies later. Eye in the back of your head. Wait a minute, of course this is worth it. What am I talking about? I'm Kane, I have the luck foot. I have a huge luck upgrade, even though I did get a luck down pill at some point, which I still think is really, really, really ironic. Mom's eye is useful. Look at how many times I'm shooting out the back of my head like this. I'd say that's worth it. If I'm not mistaken, Ceremonial Robes is actually one full damage upgrade, so it's like the mark, but better in pretty much every way. 
pretty sure that's how it is. The mark gives you one soul heart. Ceremonial robes gives you three black hearts. I'm really not sure if they're the same damage upgrade or not. Like, by the numbers. But uh, I'm gonna leave that, that sort of thought process to the experts and just go about playing and complaining about how congested I am and how this cough drop full of menthol has not helped it to clear up at all. <sighs> the shot speed down from the blue mushroom though is kind of bothering me because Kane starts with a lower range by default than every other character. So a lower shot speed means that I gotta get in real close. Can't shoot very far. Tears up though. The tears up from, from the blue from the blue cap is far more valuable than Ed well. It completely it completely outweighs the, the negatives, the the cons, the, the bad parts. I don't know, I can't think of any other neat words. Bad parts of the shot speed down. Seriously, every time I close my eyes, even just to blink, I can't see anything because they wanna stay shut. So this is Ares, right? Rammy speed. That's fine. I don't ever expect to use this until I get the Polaroid. Even then. But yeah, if I run into enemies at full speed, I can do up to 18 damage, 18 contact damage, which is pretty powerful. I don't have a trinket. Sure, why not? I'm totally gonna blow up some shrooms here. See if I can get some meat pills. Are you a wizard? I don't really want that. And nothing. Since I have a golden key, I might as well go to the shop. Uh, Bogo Bombs. I don't think I need that, so I'm just gonna donate four cents and then leave. Cool. Are we cool? We cool. I'm gonna hit triple nine on that someday, I swear. Check out this room. It's probably the last one. Yeah. For the record, I only shot that post in the center there because I wanted it to not try to combat combat fight me. I wanted it to not try to combat fight me. Yes, this is this is correct. This is exactly this is exactly what I meant to say. Without a doubt. Spider butt, you've served me well, but I'm gonna have to stick with Guppy's paw for er, Guppy's paw. Guppy's head for now. I would love to have Guppy's paw, actually. That'd be pretty neat. Okay, okay, so two and a half soul heart type dealios. Or rather one soul heart, one and a half black hearts, but I don't really think that's relevant. I don't remember if there was any red health lying around on the last floor that I could have given Dark Bum. I mean, I mean, should have given to Dark Bum. Whatevs. I am fairly certain, however, that when you have Dark Bum, it decreases the drop rate of red of red health. I completely disagree with that hitting me. Completely. Did you see? When it went into the freeze frame of I had taken damage, did you see where I was relative to that shot? I disagree. That's ridiculous. Alright, I'm not liking my health situation, but everything else is pretty nice. So what I'd really like to have is some kind of neat red heart generation synergy. I'm legit surprised I did not take any damage there. I didn't see that bearded, bearded fly just just chilling up there by the wall, blending in, being an asshole. Didn't see that. Tisk tisk, shame on me. I can't see things because I'm having an immense amount of difficulty paying attention. Motherfucker. And of course, it happened to be one of the champion shots. All right, I'll be honest. If I lose this run, I am just gonna stop playing for the day. And fucking come back to Isaac later, cause this, this, there should be no reason that I lose this run. I have flight, spectral tears, ceremonial robes, dark bum, for God's sake. Which so far has done exactly jack shit for me because I can't find any red hearts. I really, I'm, I'm pretty sure red heart generation decreases significantly. 48 hour energy, why not? Get some more flies. I'm gonna leave Are You a Wizard because I don't think I need that. Ultra Pride. Ultra Pride. Go, flies, go. Save me the trouble having to fight this thing. Do I want the left hand? Yes, I want the left hand. Of course I want the left hand. Give me the left hand. Thank you. Oh, finally. Give me a soul heart. Isaac's Fork doesn't help me at all because I don't even have any red hearts. So 
the left hand makes it so every chest that spawns is a red chest. Which, you know, I'm actually totally down with. Uh, boss trap room for, for a single red chest, even though that's probably because of the left hand. Not really enthused about that. I do have to admit there, there is a certain trade-off of having left hand in this situation, because golden chests and regular chests can actually drop red hearts. Like, they have a, they, they probably have a... Chalice is useless for me. They probably have a higher chance to drop red hearts than red chests do to drop soul hearts. Which means that, overall, if I were to run some, side of, some kind of, like, cost-benefit analysis type dealio... No, no, never did that stuff in high school. Hey, 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 I roll. If I were to do some kind of thing like that, comparing having a left hand versus not in this situation with Dark Bomb as my primary HP generation function that I can think see of in the near future, I don't know which would win. I'm kind of feeling like red chests though, simply because red chests can also give me other neat things like pills, uh, I could become guppy, uh, I could become guppy, I could become guppy, or I could become guppy. Also they can give me two soul hearts. Red, the red chest one, the red chest strat here is a little bit more of a gamble, but I'm totally willing to, to make this gamble. This is one of those rooms where spectral tears is a godsend. Hello, pill. I will investigate you shortly. Spectral tears means I can shoot boom flies and they can't shoot me. Luck down. Well, screw you too. I will fight the boss, but I'm gonna go look for the item. Oh god, I hate this room hate this room. Get over here, you fucks. Nope, keep coming this way. Nope. Oh, good god. Like I've said before, these things are not difficult to fight. They're just really, really annoying. I love how they can shoot over the turrets, but I can't. Jerks. I think you are cheaters. No, come on. Come on! Thank you. Fucking good riddance. I still don't know how Mom's wig works. I just know that it occasionally spawns spiders or something. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I don't- I really don't think a single penny is worth visiting the shop. Well, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna bomb some mushrooms again. What are you? Balls of steel, please. Range down. Fuck you. Tears down. Fuck you more. Jesus Christ. What is with these garbage pills? They're all so bad. Okay. Chad is interesting. Because beating Chad gives me a little Chad item. Which generates red hearts, which I have dark bomb. This is this is one of those synergies that sounds incredibly good in theory, but then if you actually consider how frequently little chat actually pays out, you realize that it's not as great as you might want it to be. Still though, it's something, and given that I have exactly one hit left from literally anything before I'm dead, I ain't gonna complain. I am, however, going to go look for a secret room because there might be something useful here, maybe? Probably not. Oh, wow, I was right. Surprising. Okay. I'll just I'll just take Pyro, I guess. That's fine. Uh, time to find a second secret room. Is it here? No. Is it here? Lame. Is it here? This is going to take forever. But hey, I can totally do this. I have enough bombs, cause freaking pyro. That is an item that I almost never get. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see it. I suppose. Yeah, it's not gonna be here. Not gonna be down there. So it's gonna be. Oh, it could be down below this room. But I don't want to go check there yet because I really don't want to die. Actually, it looks like that's almost definitely where it is. Yeah, that's where it is. Shop. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to get some money so I can buy that soul heart and not die. I have no idea how that didn't blow up the shopkeeper, but whatever. 
I really hope I don't die. I don't want to die. Oh, wait. It could be... No, no, no. The second secret room could be right here. Which I think it is. Yay! And it contains a red chest, which contains Guppy's Paw, which is super neat, but I can't use it, so I'm going to leave it here. If I manage to beat the boss, and the boss gives me an HP upgrade, I'm coming straight back for- Oh wait, I already beat the boss with a little chat. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Uh, I, uh, do I want to take up his paw? I don't know if I want to take up his paw. Because it's a good item. It's a very good item, but, um... I don't know... I don't know. Guaranteed damage. Potential HP. Guaranteed damage. Potential not dying. Fuck it, I'm going with Guppy's Paw. I'm probably going to find something better later. Which I hope I do. But I want to get at least some use out of this thing. HP upgrades do not interest me right now. Curse of Tartness. You know what that means. Turn off the lamp. Oh god. So I know Curse of Darkness means everything is dark, but it got really dark in here. Ugh. I guess that's what happens when you choose to record in the middle of the fucking night. It's not actually that late. It's only like... I think at this point it's probably 10.45pm. It's not that bad, really. Uh, fun fact, it's 10.45 PST. There you go. Now you know that I'm one of the, like, 50 kajillion people that lives on this end of the United States. Still don't know how Mom's Wig works. It's just like spawning spiders sometimes, and I can never tell. With this many bombs, I am blowing up pretty much every single, uh, skull. The moon card? Yeah, sure, I'll totally use that. I'm gonna blow up every single skull I see because I need the black hearts. And also Hierophant pills, maybe? I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this now. Greed. You. I don't want to fight you. You're lame. And you do things like that. Take cheap shots. You're gonna kill me, probably. Because I'm that bad at fighting you, apparently. Fucking have a bomb. Uh. I am uncertain. I'm gonna turn my lamp back on. I am uncertain whether or not I should be angry about this. Because, like, I didn't expect to fight Greed. Greed is not a tough one. It's not a tough cookie to crack. Oh, well. I guess, uh, I guess the sleep aid and cough drop didn't help. Do I sound drunk yet? Because I kind of feel it. I have never actually been intoxicated in my entire life. Never, 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 um, done anything to, like, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Never done anything to alter my, my conscious state beyond taking sleep medication. Or Benadryl, I guess that counts. Ugh. I am just too tired to be upset right now. I had a hard enough day as is. Could tell the story later. Doesn't matter. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. If you did, sticking around, that's cool. I, I'm always out. He'll catch you on Wednesday with some more Isaac. I right. see you later, everybody.